Hey guys, welcome back to Berenza's Math Club. Today we'll be learning how to graph absolute value functions. Absolute value is how far a number is from zero on a number line. Let's go ahead and do an example of absolute value to understand it better. Let's say that we have to find the absolute value of positive three. Remember that this is the symbol for absolute value. So how far is the number positive three from zero? Well, of course we know that it is three points away. Now let's say that we have to find the absolute value of negative 5. Most of us would think that it would be negative 5, but here's the deal. Absolute value cannot be negative. Absolute value has to be positive, because negative 5 is 5 points away from 0, but so is positive 5. So the absolute value of any negative number is that number in its positive version. So negative 5, the absolute value of negative 5 would be positive 5. And if it was positive 5, it would still be positive 5. So now that we understand absolute value, let's go ahead and graph absolute value functions. Here we have a chart that has, the listed, that has listed x values of the coordinates of an absolute value function. So we know that the x values are negative 4, negative 2, 0, 2, 4, and 6. Now for the y values, we've been given a function which is y equals the absolute value of x minus 5. The first step to find the y values is to substitute the value of x into the function. So we got the absolute value of negative 4 minus 5, which we know is going to be the absolute value of negative 9 since negative 4 minus 5 is negative 9. And we know that the absolute value of any negative number is the positive number of that, the same number but is positive. So the absolute value of negative 9 would be positive 9. So the first coordinate is going to be negative 4 and positive 9. Let's go ahead and graph this. So we have, this is the origin. So we have negative 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, and then up 9. So we're going to go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9. So here is our first point. Now we have negative 2 and positive 7. Remember we just simply substituted negative 2 into the function and we got the absolute value of negative 7 which is positive 7. So we got negative 2, 7. So we have negative 2 and then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 7. So here is our second point. Then we have 0, 5, so which will be right here. Then we have 2, positive 3 which will be over here. Then we have four positive one, and then we have six positive one. So if we had all of the coordinates, then we would have had a complete graph, but these are just part of the coordinates for this function. So as you can see, the line that we made is not straight. We know that so far, the lines that we've made on our graphs have, have been straight because they were linear functions. But absolute value functions are kind of different because of the values that you get when you find the absolute value by plugging it in. So this is it for graphing absolute value functions. Thanks for watching this video and we will see you guys next time.